What's up everybody? I'm your boy Maddie. Welcome to Willow Silicon. Today I'm going to show you how to install an M.2 NVMe SSD in your Gigabyte Aorus 15G laptop. All right, let's jump right into it. First off, you're gonna need some kind of tools for this project. What I recommend is this iFixit kit. It's the Essential Electronics Toolkit. It's great for laptops and cell phones. Now, another thing you're gonna need for this project is an M.2 drive. What I picked up was the Inland Professional NVMe SSD. Nothing too special, it's just 2000 megabytes read, 1600 megabytes write. Uh, it claims it's the ultimate gaming solution. So that's interesting. And uh, by the way, this was not $129.99. Uh, I believe it was on sale for 95 bucks at Micro Center. I will leave a link to this specific drive in the description, along with a more expensive drive for you ballers out there. Now, for some reason, my laptop had tamper evident tape on these two screws. I don't know why, because it doesn't void the warranty to take this thing apart. So just don't worry about that when you see it. To remove the screws in this laptop, I use the TR6 bit from the iFixit kit. And then you'll have to remove the 12 screws from the bottom of the laptop. All right, now I'm gonna grab my iFixit opener tool. This is a very handy tool, I love it. If you don't have one, you could probably use a flathead screwdriver. Just be very careful not to damage the plastic. All right, I'm just gonna stick this in here and then just kind of twist it sideways at the hinge and it should pop open like that. All right, and then I'm gonna do the other hinge the same way. And it just kind of pops off. And then just take the hooked edge of the opener tool and just kind of go down it and pry it open. And there we have it. This laptop's not too hard to get open. All right, this is the pre-installed SSD that comes with the laptop. I do not recommend replacing that unless you want to reinstall Windows. This is the Wi-Fi 6 card. And this right here is your RAM. Now, if you want to replace your RAM, it's pretty easy to do. You just pop these little tabs right here the stick of RAM will pop up and you just pull it out. Pretty simple. All right. Same with the other stick. Let's pull it out. Then when you're putting your new RAM in, you want to make sure that you put it in the right way. It's keyed off center so it can only go in one way. Don't try to force it another way. Just slide it in at an angle and then you just push it down until the tabs pop in place. Same with the other stick. Just look at the, the key of it. Make sure you put it in right. Slide it in at an angle, push it down, and the tabs pop right in. And you're good to go. All right, now this right here is your second 2280 M.2 slot. This is where you're gonna want to install your new M.2 drive. This just has a regular Phillips head screw. I'm going to use the zero Phillips bit for this. Thank you. 
Now let's get this drive in there. Now, most of these drives have a sticker like this on them. You do not need to remove this sticker. They are thermally conductive. Just leave it on there. All right, now M.2 is also keyed to go in a certain way, just like the RAM. So you wanna look at it and make sure that you're putting it in the correct way. Also, don't worry about this little wire right here. You can just install the M.2 right over the top of it. Then you slide it in at an angle, just like you did with the RAM. Make sure you push it in all the way and then reinstall the screw to hold it down. Now, if you're doing this on the Gigabyte or a 15G laptop, inside your laptop box, you should have this bag with the included thermal pad for adding an M.2 SSD. And even right here on the bag, it shows you where you would typically place the thermal pad on the SSD. Now you're gonna peel off the blue tape here. Now you mainly just wanna make sure that the thermal pad covers the memory controller, which is this right here. The other chips on there are the NAND flash. And that actually runs better when it gets warm. Now I'm going to peel off the clear plastic from the other side. Some people say leave it on there. Some people say don't leave it on there. I always take it off. And now we're just gonna close everything back up. SSD is installed, we're good to go. You want to make sure you put the bottom back on there the correct way. You want to go all the way around the edges and make sure it's all snapped in place. Then I'm going to switch back to my TR6 bit and reinstall the 12 screws that I removed. They're all the same length, so it doesn't really matter which holes they go back into. Now I'm going to power back up, get into Windows and make sure that my drive is showing up and show you guys how to initialize it and get it ready to use. All right, now here we are in Windows and as you can see, the drive does not automatically show up. So all you need to do is type into the Windows search bar, create and format hard disk partitions and just click on that and it's gonna open up your disk management tool. Now it already sees that I installed a new drive here. You can just leave everything right here exactly how it is and just hit okay. And it's going to initialize your disk. Then you can just right click on the bar that says unallocated, select new volume, hit next. You don't need to change anything here, just hit next, next again. And on this screen, you can change the name of your new volume. I'm just going to change the name of mine to storage and then hit next and then finish. And that's it. Your drive is now initialized. It's ready to use. And then I'm just going to check file explorer. There it is ready to go. All right, good luck on your installation. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Subscribe for more tech content and thank you for watching. Stay safe and have fun.